Greater Adelaide, Australia has a high dependency now on motor cars. Very few people use public transport, but there actually is an excellent structure for public transport in Adelaide. 78, 78 drawing of the railway lines in Greater Adelaide shows some of the history of railways. The fine dotted lines show the horse trams which private companies implemented in Adelaide. In Melbourne, for example, local government authorities cooperated to create the Melbourne Tramways Trust and the local government authorities funded the building of the tram lines which used a more expensive cable car system. In fact, Melbourne had the largest cable car tram system in the world in its time, which has now been dismantled. The 11 horse tram companies created a network of lines which took their lines to the areas of greatest population. As well as the 11 tramways companies, there were four private railway lines in addition to the state government railway line. The state government in South Australia was the first government in the British Empire at the time to build railways because at that time in the 19th century private enterprise built the railways but in South Australia the government did. There were four private railways which were built in Adelaide. This line here which is now the Glenelg tram from South Terrace to Glenelg. This line here to St Leonard's fr from North Terrace were both broad gauge. Another private railway line was built from Wood from Woodville Railway Station on the Port Adelaide line, which was a narrow gauge. And then here at uh, Semaphore, there was a private railway line to Largs Bay. So there were four private railway lines in South Australia. The tram lines were all standard gauge. The problem with the horse trams was that they required the roads not to be paved because of the footing for the horses and for all the urine that the horses were created. And they also could only go at five kilometres an hour, which is a very slow trip. The private tram line companies were nationalised in 1907 and the state government set up a trust, similar to the Melbourne Trust, where the local government authorities had control of the trust and the state government couldn't have any overriding decisions about what the trust did. The trust was also meant to make a profit, which it did during this time until the development of the modern motor car. The Metropolitan Tramways Trust decided to electrify its trams and rebuilt the whole system with the roads being paved. This line is the Hills Line which comes from Murray Bridge and beyond. This is Mitcham Railway Station and it suggested that this right of way which used to be first of all a horse tram and then later on electric tram is perhaps where we should do what some other countries did when they took away the tr street trams, the street cars. They actually shifted the trains to underneath the road into subways. So a journey begins at this point here at Mitcham Railway Station.
Unley Road near Mitcham Railway Station. It suggested that the uh, railway line could run as a tunnel underneath Unley Road down into the CBD and this would free up all of the um, clearways that have had to be placed along this busy road. The Royal Automobile Association of South Australia did a survey of travel times between Mitcham Station and the CBD. Royal Automobile Association of South Australia in 2014 did a survey of tr travel times on four routes into the Hindmarsh Square in the CBD of Adelaide to get from Mitcham Railway Station to the city by bike took 80 minutes going straight down Unley Road to Hindmarsh Square. If you took a longer route via a bike path th th via Goodwood, it took uh, 22 minutes. By car, it took 31 minutes. By train, took 32 minutes. Going the long way around by Adelaide Railway Station, walking the distance from Adelaide Railway Station to Hindmarsh Square, and by bus into Hindmarsh Square was 38 minutes. This is the start of that trip and that's the end of the trip. Whereas map says it takes 13 minutes. In reality in rush hour period in 2014 it took th three times longer almost 31 minutes. <laughs> Adelaide CBD actually has a very high concentration of residential accommodation. This is the first of the squares. And we see a large building being built for accommodation. And we can see here the Wakefield Hospital. So the Calvary Hospital, this brand new hospital where they are ra rationalising their three different venues and building a multi-storey hospital in the centre of the city.
So this large building uh, on our left is the new Calvary Hospital in the process of being constructed. The survey in 2014 from Paradise to the City which is a distance of about 8.8 kilometres. This is the road route and just parallel with this is the Oban by bus took 20 minutes by bike riding the most direct route which is following the Oban is 25 minutes by a different route to 30 minutes and by car took 40 minutes. Rimple Street. Rimple Street with, with the Oban access tunnel at its eastern end looking towards the CBD.
Mitcham Railway Station and it suggested that this right of way which used to be first of all a horse tram and then later on electric tram is perhaps where we should do what some other countries did when they took away the tr street trams, the street cars they actually shifted the trains to underneath the road into subways